Hello, welcome to the channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the benefits of IFRS. What are the benefits if the company is implementing IFRS standards for the preparation of financial statements? Let's have a look. So first benefit is single reporting. So here, before the introduction of the IFRS, as there were no uniform rules and regulation all over the world, each and every country used to follow their, usually used to follow the generally accepted accounting principles. Like US used to follow the US GAAP, India used to follow the India GAAP and other several countries. And after GAAP, the accounting standards came. After that, the Indies came. So, Indies was made in conversion of the IFRS. This is about the domestic within the country. If we talk about international, then international ga gap was came into existence. Then, international accounting standards, then IFRS. So, before the introduction of IFRS or we can say for India in days, they used to follow the multiple reporting system. But after the introduction of the IFRS, there is only single reporting with that is IFRS. So, all over the world, the IFRS is being implemented. So, it made easy for the investors to understand the financial statements of the companies and to invest in any country's company. So this is the first and the major benefit of IFRS. Next is increased comparability. So as this many of the advantages we have already covered in the features. So the same main points will repeat here. So here as we studied in the features, the the IFRS implementation made easy in the comparison of the two companies or comparison of the two countries companies. So if a company is doing the same nature of the business and if it is following the same reporting system that is they are converging with the IFRS then it will be easy for us to compare the both of the company as they are in the same nature of the business and also they are using the same reporting system. Next is access to the global capital market. One of the major aim of introducing IFRS is to increase the foreign to increase the foreign capital. So here if we are implementing IFRS then anybody from the world any abroad country people can also understand our financial statements why because this IFRS standards is being implemented in their own country also and in any country all over the globe so here the access to the global capital market made easy if the implementation of IFRS is being done in the company how miss how it means it increases it increases the opportunity for the foreign investment any people from the abroad countries they can come in our india and they can invest in our, our company as they they are they are used to the ifrs standards they can easily understand our financial statements they can easily judge uh, the solvency position of the company and they can trust our companies and they can invest in our indian companies and it reduces the it reduces the restrictions on the cross broader cross border listing that is what the global capital market before as we were following our gap as we are following accounting standards which were not understand by any country any country people there was restrictions on the global capital market our country were not we were not getting any were not getting major foreign investments but after the introduction of the ifrs when we made 
index in conversion of the IFRS, the global capital market was open for our Indian companies also. This is also a major benefit of IFRS. Next is benefits for the investors. So this main point we have discussed in the features and also in the uses of the IFRS. So here investors investors for investors the financial statements prepared using a common set of accounting standards helps investor to better understand the investment opportunities so if the financial statements is been prepared in the same way it's been prepared by following the same rules and regulation so anybody any investor all over the world he can better understand the financial statements and he can judge the solvency position of the company he can he can uh, he can he can predict the future prospects of the company and he can invest in the company next is benefits for the accounting professional so here the indian we example accounting professionals that is the chartered accountants we can say or the auditor we can say or any normal accountant who has a knowledge of the ifrs so as ifrs is being implemented from the implemented by the countries located all over the world all over the globe the country is located if they are following the ifrs standard so any person who has a knowledge of the ifrs is is very demanding we can say it, it is very wanted or we can say it is very demanding the knowledge of ifrs if a person is having he know how to prepare the financial statements in con in uh, in in compliance of the finance in compliance of the ifrs standards in keeping in mind the ifrs standards following the ifrs standards and preparing the financial statements those accountants those chartered accountants those auditors has a demand all over the world so for the accounting professionals also the demand was increased after the introduction of the ifrs so here they they'll able to sell their services all over the world the accounting professionals they can able to sell their services they can provide their services all over the world as they are they know the they know they have knowledge of ifrs next is the benefits for the industry so in this point we discuss that access to the global capital market so same here the benefits for the industries the industries will get the foreign investments so as the industries are implementing ifrs they can attract the foreign investors and they can increase their foreign investment they can have access to the global capital market so here it el eliminates the requirement for dual set of financial statements so here before the implementation of the ifrs the industries used to prepare two sets of financial statements for example like before the introduction of uh, ifrs so ifrs before it was for the international it was international accounting standards and here in india it was accounting standards so here the indian industries used to prepare financial statements in compliance with accounting standards so this set of account, financial statement is for our india for our country people another set of accounting uh, financial statements were used to prepare in in compliance of the international accounting standards so here there were two sets one for the indian people and another for the outside ad investors so indian investors for indian investors one set of financial statements and for another if financial statements in compliance of international accounting standards is for the abroad investors so here after the introduction of the ifrs the one of the major benefit of the industry was they were access to the global capital market that is one major advantage another advantage was the the elimination the elimination of dual set of reporting was done 
here instead of preparing accounting standards uh, financial statements in both accounting standards and international accounting standards only one stand one following only ifrs is been sufficient for the indian uh, investors and for the other country investors last advantage of ifrs is the the better quality of financial reporting was done by the application of the ifrs standards so here ifrs standard is not only providing rules and regulations for the company's well being but it is also looking for the investors it is also looking for the employees it is also looking for the suppliers it is also looking for we can say it is looking for the stakeholders so improvement in the financial reporting was done after the introduction of the ifrs this in turn will lead to increased trust and reliance placed by the investors analyst and other stakeholders in the company so at last we can say that if a company is uh, following the ifrs standards we can blindly trust those companies we can have a reliance on those companies so this is all about today's video if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comments below or in your whatsapp group If you found this video useful you can subscribe to my channel share and like the video thank you